good morning nigeria i am making this video from nairobi kenya on the 17th september 2023 at around noon and i want to confirm to nigeria that some larry is hiding in kenya and his location is not hidden i believe that there is a criminal investigation going on in nigeria and some larry is a person of interest to aid in investigation or shedding light to what exactly led to the circumstances that caused the departed Mobad to lose his life. We, the people of Kenya and the international fans of Mobad, cannot claim that we understand the Nigerian culture and the Nigerian language. But what we have seen on social media, be beyond reasonable doubt, proves that Sam Larry and Naira Mali, with their gang, really frustrated the life of Mobad. They bullied, they harassed, they denied him his human rights and his freedom. They even interfered with self-esteem, not to talk of his health as a man. And therefore, Kenya does not want anybody who does not have humanity in him. We are scared and we cannot have you in our country. We deny you and we want Nigeria to do the right thing. Officially declare Sam Larry wanted and Kenya will extradict him. It is also important for everyone on social media to know that Mobad's death cannot be justified with everything that is circulating on the media unless someone truly comes forward. And at this point, I want to express my sincere anger because I wish you can deport Mobad's father to Kenya so that I can use slap to address that man because you cannot watch when your child has been bullied to his death and you come out and say nonsense only when money is involved. Mobad's father, this is a message to you. You may not have valued Mobad, but he was a celebrity, therefore he was our concern in the whole world. Whatever is making you to be scared, we do not care. You can seek asylum, but do the right thing. Because if not, we would like to beat you so that you understand how Mobad left this world. I do not understand what is making you scared. As a father, your duty is to protect your family, even if it includes losing your life. That is what parents do. And I speak to you as a young mother, and I would never watch my son bullied while I do nothing, even at his death. Mobad's father, it is either you have been paid to hide information and you are acting like you're scared, or it is either you are not the real father of Mobad. Wherever it is, Nigeria and the whole world is showing support to you and to Mobad, because we believe that justice must prevail. Do not waste our efforts. Right about now, I'm very angry and I wish I can use breast to slap Mobad's father and the entire family members for wasting our efforts. But that is not all. I am also angry because the law is not justice. Number one, Sam Larry was never in Nigeria when Mobad died all the time he died. Number two, we cannot prove Naira Mali was within or around Mobad at the time he died. Number three, it might be difficult unless someone truly stands with the cause of humanity and say, Sam Larry, I saw or I heard him ordering for the killing of Mobad. That would help or rather it will be best if men mount and hold Sam Larry and make him confess what he has done. Anyway, Nigeria wants to sort out this issue. I want to remind Nigeria that the entire world is looking at Nigerian government and we are hoping that Nigeria will start becoming a sane country like the rest of us in Africa where law applies because in Kenya, you cannot wake up and decide to kill people.
or go and be a nuisance to somebody's house. I would love Sam Larry Nair Mali to answer to the charges of bullying and harassment and dehumanizing Mubad if they cannot be held responsible or they cannot be directly linked with the murder of Mubad. At least they terrorized him and denied him his human rights. Therefore, Nigeria, President Tinubu. Tinubu, you might not know you are my crush. I would love to marry you. But we will discuss that behind the tent. What I want right now is for you, the way you promise to protect and have the interest of Nigerian youths. Because the rest of us in the other world, we love your boys. They treat us nice. They give us big pennies and they give us money. We do not want them to die young. So President Tinubu, wherever you are, if you are not sick, please lend your voice to the Nigerian youth. And for the first time, let Nigeria showcase that Nigeria has a law that works. A law that protects every Nigerian citizen within Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Because at this point, everybody always jokes with Nigerians. To Samson or Sam Larry and Naira Mali. My face is not new to Sam Larry. And I know with the little you've heard about me in Kenya, you know I do not support evil. This is the Black Cinderella Cartel 001. And I would love to let you know that with everything Nigeria have published about you, I am scared to walk around on the streets of Nairobi and happen to meet you or to go to an Italy or Milan where you like to drink and see you seated there. I would be so scared and I would have a panic attack. Therefore, we raised concern with our authorities because... We would not let you kill anybody here. You have been killing people in Nigeria according to the allegations against you, but they were not known. So nobody asked or followed up. But now you killed a celebrity. This is exactly what happens when you off a light you did not switch on. Blood does not sleep. In spirit form, Mobad is about to conquer. So I urge Nigerians in Kenya, my sisters in Kenya, and not just Kenya, authorities all over East Africa, to deny entry to this man until he goes and aids in the investigation of Mobad. Because Imole was useless to his eyes, useless to his presence, but the world loved him. When you kill people, try and think about the people at the back. He was a breadwinner and he was our integrity.